The first flying cruise in was in 1991, and a vehicle that's been to every single flying cruise in is this 1940 panel delivery. And I'm with Damon Combs, and Damon, as the years go by, this van has went through quite a change. It's went through a big change, Ray. When I brought it home, part of it was on a trailer and part of it was in the back of a pickup truck I had out of Lafayette, Indiana. Well, now this is a rare vehicle. It's not a vehicle you see at many car shows. No. I've had this one 19 years and I've seen three like it. There was 4,912 of them produced. What is it about this body style that, that attracted you? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's bigger than a sedan delivery. And um, I had a 66 El Camino, which was a nice truck. But I wanted something different. And this just happened to come up. And me and the guy traded title for title. Mine was drivable and this one wasn't. So I brought this home on a trailer. So you traded a perfectly good El Camino because you had a vision for this truck. Yes, I did. What is this color? I, uh, we got a, a day with some clouds and the sun's coming and the clouds are going. This truck changes colors. Well, it's, it's painted a black cherry, but it's really got four different colors to it. It's all according to how the sun's shining on it, whether it's wet, whether it's dry. It's a beautiful paint job. You know the history of this truck. What was it used for? It was used Smith Allsop Paint Company out of Lafayette, Indiana, used it to deliver, to, to deliver paint in. And the way I can understand it, I'm the fourth owner of it. Well, again, what brought you to owning this truck? Uh, it had to be something about it that really, well, made you want to trade an El Camino for it. Well, uh, the uh, guy called me and told me that he had a panel delivery. A sedan delivery is, uh, there's thousands of them out there, but a panel delivery, when he told me what it was, I just had to jump right on it and, uh, and go see this guy. And uh, <clears throat> when I got down there, he had plastic in the back, but he had alternators, generators, and the motor was just sitting there. The instrument panel, not quite original. No, it's uh, it's a uh, I did it polished aluminum uh, panel with uh, classical gauges in it. And uh, no, it's not original. It's uh, it's up to date. The interior, beautiful, beautiful uh, interior that you have here. It's a uh, red crush velour. They don't make it anymore. Uh, it's got a, a lot of black buttons in it. When the kids was home, they kept counting, they kept counting. And one time they got up to uh, 929 buttons in there. I don't know, I don't care, but uh, they kept counting them, counting them, so I don't know how many black buttons it's got. Well, Damon, you've had this truck a long time. It's not for sale, is it? No, no, it's not for sale. Damon, not exactly original engine or chassis. No, it's got, a, like I said, a 283 small block Chevy. It is built up a little bit. It's got a uh, Walker radiator. It's got a uh, Mustang II front end. Uh, it does have a 350 transmission with automatic on the floor. Uh, the rear end is a chassis engineering rear end kit which they make strictly for uh, 40 Fords. The front brakes are disc which are redrilled for Chevy bolt pattern. So I've got Chevy bolt pattern in the front, got Chevy bolt pattern in the back. Uh, it's got a Chevrolet tilt steering in it. Uh, the inside has got a 63 Chevy console that's cut down to fit. Uh, it's got American racing wheels on it. It's got uh, dual exhaust on it. And the tail lights that's on there, when I had it painted, the guy couldn't figure out what he wanted to use 
to get them in there. And he went home and he cut the extensions off his tailpipes at home and welded them in there so we could get those 59 Cadillac taillights in there. Well, I noticed the headlights are rather unique. Well, the headlights are uh, European style. They're no better, no worse than what I had in there before, but I just like the looks of them. Well, back to the engine. I, that engine, it fooled me, and I think it fools a lot of people. It does. It's a 283. It's got 327 heads on it. But the mirror that's on there is a mirrored plexiglass firewall, and it looks like there's two engines sitting in there. And with that breather that's on there, that's just a breather. It's nothing else. I've had uh, people come up and say, boy, how much horsepower are you running in that thing? Well, I don't tell them any difference. I just tell them I don't know. Some people think it's a 327. It does have 327 heads on it, but, uh, but it's 283. It's got me every place I want to go and back, so that's all I worry about. I don't, I don't need no big gas hog in there. Have you had it over 70? Yes, one time I had it up to 85, and that was just before I put it in storage back in uh, October of last year. But it will, it will get on down the road with you. After you run at 85, you had to hide it for a while. Well, my wife was behind me, <laughs> and she wanted to know what I was doing. So I just told her I was trying it out a little bit. Had a new speedometer in it, so I thought I'd see if it worked or not. It does. You're not done with it yet, are you? I'm not done with it yet. You always come up with something new or somebody in a magazine comes up with something new and you've got to have it, you know. Uh, you think you got to stay up with the other guy, but you don't. It's all in fun, really. Well, Damon, we appreciate you bringing it out here today, sharing it with us. We're going to see you at the next flying cruise in. I'll be in. there. I'll oh. be there. Okay. Thank you.